Whoa, hey, how do you delete layers? Hey, Mr. Watson! How do you delete layers? I'm with Diva, I'm gonna do this. Stop it. Can't see. That's not. Okay. okay, you can just right click on the layer. If you right click on the layer, right click on it. I did, this is right. That's right. I clicked it. Okay, right see where it says delete layer? Oh. Or you can just see that icon down there, the trash icon? Yeah. You can just click on that and delete the layer. All right, Bri, let, let's talk about yours and where you are right now. I've been there. Okay, tell me everything about it and what you've done and why you think it's a finished product. Okay, so on the rubric that you handed us, it said that we needed titles. Do you want a copy of it? Okay. All right. Okay, so on the rubric, this beautiful lovely rubric, um, it says first to ask for a cover photo which I have here, of Lana Del Rey, and it needs to be eye-catching with high quality, easily to recognize, relates to the title, and relates to some headlines. So since Lana, you know, has like really good fashion sense, the picture is high quality, and she looks like she's in summer. I did some summer titles, some stuff about her hair, mm -hmm. it's really nice, and uh, some stuff about fashion. Then it asked for headlines, and I have this headline, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I really like the fonts that you chose. I mean, it matches everything, and I love that that title too. Yeah, I just made it up, so. <laughs> no, it's clever. And um, yeah, so you asked for a title, so there's my title, and then my subtitle, which goes with the magazine. Although I couldn't think of anything else, so I put the actual title inside of my sub subtitle. So yeah. I think that's fine. And uh, my barcode, the date it was published, and the issue number and how much it cost, and the font and the colors of the font match the background, so that is why I think it's a finished product. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I agree with you. I think it's exceptional, and I think it's something that you could find in a supermarket stand easily, because when you, you know, when I asked you to go and look at different magazines and when we looked them up, and mm -hmm. it's, this could pass for a magazine cover, so you did a great job. I based it off of a magazine, I forgot what magazine it was. It was a fashion magazine, I believe, and they had a few t subtitles with numbers on them that were telling, you know, like, this many ways to do this. So I included some of those on there. And then I included some tips and then some previews of summer fashion that was coming up, you know. So that's what it said on the magazine. That's not the exact title. Right. Yeah. And you learned how to use layers, recognize layers, and just to manipulate the objects on the on the actual magazine. So great job. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Why don't we go through the rubric oh and just tell me what you've done on the magazine and um, we'll just go from there. Okay. I have my cover photo, this right here. Right, okay, so that's Loki. Mm -hmm. It's a great image. So how did you, how did you get him? Was he was he on that background or what did you do? No, I downloaded a picture and it had a background with it and I extracted just him from it so that I could edit my background to match him and the magazine cover better. Oh, okay. So you actually took him from another background, I mean from a, the background from an image? Yes. Okay. Very good. And... What about the headlines? So, I mean, I see, I love the font that you chose. I mean, different colors. So that's good. And it looks like a sort of a, a fandom magazine. Where did you get that name from? Because I'm in a bunch of fandoms. Oh, really? That was the first thing that came to mind to create the project. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I really do. So what about, okay, so you got the date and price, all right? Um, we got the barcode down there. So which are on magazines now. The only thing I would think um, about the barcode is maybe making it a little smaller. So now just um, make it a little smaller. There you go. And if you hold the shift key down, it will actually 
um, keep the same aspect ratio. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> All righty, so we've got background, graphic. Overall, I mean, the actual... The actual... Um, magazine i mean i really like it and it's something that i could see on a on a movie i mean excuse me on a magazine stand in a grocery store or you know at um oh man what's the name of the gamestop i mean i could see it on a gamestop magazine um rack so really really good job and i love the way that you um extracted him from another another image very clean and um so you use the extraction tool right yes excellent well thank you so much